and gentlemen, today marks another milestone for our students for their hard work will be paid off. Amidst of what we are experiencing globally, we are still blessed that we are able to celebrate these felicitous events in every student's educational journey. Dear parents, students, teachers, and guests, Welcome to Prophet Span Academy Incorporated on its first virtual reading of honors of the Academic Achievers School Year 2021-2022. To formally start our program, let us hear the singing of our national anthem and to be followed by the opening prayer to be offered to God by Teacher Chief Escuerta. Amidst this pandemic, 
Your efforts are paid off being an achiever for the first quarter. Continue to aim high for your bright future. Once again, good morning and congratulations to everyone. At this juncture, let's give a hand for teacher Mary Grace Ivanar and Jazel Amber for their intermission song. <laughs>
Digital Branches, let's welcome April May Collet, one of the academic achievers in ABM from grade 12 class. A pleasant morning to our beloved principal, Mr. Rinaldo C. Fabricante, teachers, parents, faculty and staff, and fellow students. It is an honor to speak before you today. I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to the academic achievers in this first quarter reading of honors for a job well done. And for those who didn't make it, just keep on trying and believe in yourself. As what Joshua 1 verse 9 says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. As a student myself, I know how difficult and challenging it is to study and learn amid these circumstances. But thanks to our teachers' patience and efforts, combined with our perseverance, made these achievements and today's event possible. May we keep in mind what Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7 says. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Once again, congratulations and may God bless us all. It is now time for the presentation of the academic achievers in the elementary department. First, we have grade 1 under the advisory of teacher Ueni Nubem Paglinawan, then followed by the grade 2 under the advisory of teacher Christy May Barabana, and then the grade 3 under the advisory of teacher Sharon May Duran. <laughs>
gratitude will be given to us by King Jairam Paila, one of the academic achievers in class from grade 12 class. Good day everyone, teachers, fellow students, parents, and so is everyone watching this good day. Um, first of all, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is King Jerry Depaila and I am a grade 12 student under General Academic Strand in Prophet Span Academy. I am asked to make a speech but unfortunately I am I came unprepared like really unprepared so I'm just going to say what's gonna come up in my mind well the first thing that I will say is that we should keep going no matter how hard your life is no matter how challenging we should keep going when people say that you can't do it or they doubt you and even yourself if you doubt yourself you should keep going don't quit because months from now you'll be much more closer to your goal so don't quit and it's better to rely on yourself I mean it's great to have support from your family or friends, it's great to have support. But it's better to believe in yourself. It's really great to have support, but it's better to have mental strength. It's great to have people in your corner, but it's better to be able to fight when life has you cornered. What I'm trying to say is that we should be independent. Because We've, um, we've conquered a lot of things in life and I believe that each and every one of us are strong. And to those people who are men mentally unstable, you should take a deep breath and enjoy your life no matter how hard life can get. Because it's not just you who is suffering but everyone. Especially in this pandemic, everyone is very, very not in a good shape. Everyone has been like not living the usual life that they had. Like we, we all wish that it can really come back to normal. And I think that is really, really, <laughs> I don't know, it's short, but I hope that everyone can um, internalize the words that I can say and if you do have a dream keep going keep 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 going because yesterday is different from tomorrow you are stronger tomorrow than yesterday so keep keep go going stronger because the challenges will grow and so will you just don't quit and enjoy your life i think that will be all that i can say for now and i hope that everyone will have a great day even though that you're depressed or tired of everything just think positive think about the people that made you positive not to those people who made you negative thank you so much god bless us all bye to continue let's have the grade 4 under my advisory to be followed by the grade 5 under the advisory of teacher Rishya Amarga then the grade 6 under the advisory of teacher and Anshala Imawan.
Greetings to everyone, to our dear principal, faculty and staff, and to everyone watching. Good day. Honestly, I'm not comfortable and isn't used to making a speech because I'm too shy to do this kind of thing. But you know what? It is during this season that I've come to realize that if I let shyness conquer me and I won't try because I'm afraid, I won't learn and grow. One of my favorite lines from the book, After the Rain, is this. In order to grow, like the transition of autumn and rebirth of spring, we must also prepare to shed and begin again. You know, failures are part of the process, and it's inevitable, but we shouldn't be afraid of trying. And if we fail, we should be courageous enough to begin again. Looking back, I had wasted opportunities and missed chances because I always think of the what-ifs. What if I fail and make mistakes? Then I'll just embarrass myself and get humiliated by people. But I came across this quote from Miss Ayn Bernos that really helped me to realize a lot. It says, you owe it to yourself to try. And true enough. I believe that the pain of regrets hurt more than the pain of failures. I hope that we allow ourselves to have room for failures in order for learnings and improvements to take place. Moreover, allow me to share one of my favorite verses. It's from Jeremiah 17 verse 7. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord whose confidence is in Him. It always reminds me where my confidence should come from. If you think that you're not capable and good enough, speaking as someone who also used to feel that way, we're more than what our minds are making us believe, and we're more than the hurtful words that people are telling us. 
Additionally, I know it's a struggle to learn and be active academically, especially in this kind of learning system. But we owe it to ourselves to be proud of coming this far. Last year, we also experienced the same situation. But hey, we're still here despite the struggles. And I believe that God didn't bring us this far to just come this far. We can do this, guys. Thank you and God bless. And now, let us witness another presentation of the academic achievers in the high school department. First, we have the grade 7 under the advisory of Sir Jersey Hansen Yabo. Second will be the grade 8 under the advisory of Teacher Heian White Dow. Then the grade 9 under the advisory of Teacher Glency Palasan. Then the grade 10 under the advisory of Sir Andre Angawai.
Good day, everyone. My respect to all the faculty and staff of Prophet Spring Academy and to our principal, Mr. Reynaldo C. Fabricante. I am Johannes Paula A. Okoy, a grade 10 student. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9 reminds us, Let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. My fellow learners, this verse has been my motivation to move forward amidst this pandemic life. As a student, I always try to do the tasks given, such as answering book activities, studying for exams, and making performance output. It is always my goal to do my best in a moral way. I believe by doing good, we will reap what is being promised by our Almighty Father. I would like to thank the grade 10 teachers for their compassionate teaching, to my classmates for continuously making good memories, to my parents for the endless support, and to our advisor, Sir Andre, for making things easier for us. Together, we will surpass another academic year. Thank you for listening. Another words of gratitude will be given to us by Abigail Aaron P. Bumba from grade 9 class. Good day to our dear principal, dear teachers, fellow students, and parents. It is a privilege to speak to you on our first reading of honors. As the pandemic has restricted us from seeing each other in person, with the help of the innovation and great ideas of computer and internet, make the new normal seem bearable. As a student, I believe in the saying, good things come to those who work hard. As a result, I got good grades in school. I want to share to my fellow peers what I did on achieving good grades so that in any kind of way may help them fulfill the requirements that the school requires. First, make sure to check your assignments. Make a plan, do some research, and do not wait until it is due. We have lots of free time and we should learn how to manage and make most of it. Even if it is difficult, if you just keep on trying, you will succeed. It may be a long road, but every journey needs to start somewhere. As they say, even if it is small, it is still progress. Take rest if needed, find the little things that brings you joy. The events and things happening right now may not have the brightest conclusion. It may bring difficulties and sorrow to one another, but we are getting there. As the World Health Organization says, we are seeing light at the end of the tunnel. Yet it sounds so hypocritical, but it is true. It will not be easy, nothing is. But it will be, someday in our lives, we will find the answers and our purposes that we are looking for. I want to give my utmost gratitude to my mother, grandma, aunt and my uncle for their support to god for guiding and giving me the knowledge understanding and perseverance to push through i would as well like to give thanks to our teachers for being there to lend a helping hand and guiding us on our studies for their patience and understanding despite the obstacles of the new normal way of teaching also last week i had my first dose of the covid vaccine and was grateful for that opportunity. I am hopeful that someday, we can come back to school and meet our teachers and classmates. Do not lose hope, take your vaccine, and stay optimistic. I will end this speech by saying, keep your face towards the sun, and the shadows will fall behind. For the academic achievers of the senior high school department, First, we have the grade 11 under the advisory of teacher Renalyn Surahan, then the grade 12 under the advisory of teacher Glenn Mila. <laughs> Thank you.
then the closing song, our school song, and the closing prayer to be offered to God by teacher Sharon May Newman. Good day to our parents, students, friends, and especially to my two teachers who have been striving to deliver a quality education amidst the challenges of the time. Before we end this program, it is a great pleasure of mine to congratulate all of the students who made it to be a part of academic achievers for this quarter. Not to discourage the students who did not make it this time, but to deserve them the priorities in the pride you have been when you strive harder. Don't lose hope. This is only the first grading period. There are still three remaining grading periods of this school year 2021-2022. I am encouraging you all to study harder and strive stronger so that the next time around, it will be you you and all of you and please remember that we must not stop learning for life never stops teaching we must not waste our time with irrelevant activities let us equipped and prepared our tomorrow once again congratulations and have a wonderful time thank you and may god bless us as well Your host for tonight. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe our YouTube channel, PPA TV. Thank you and may God bless us all.